Oh, Boogie. Boogie, woogie, woogie, woogie. Boogie, woogie, woogie. A lot of things went down yesterday for you, huh, Boogie? A lot of things happened for you yesterday, huh, Boogie? As yesterday is kind of a shocking, surprising day for you, huh, Bug? West Side Bug. Okay. All right. You know I love you. You know you're my favorite shady artist right now, right? <clears throat> you know I'd be like one of the only pages who consistently talks about you, consistently tries to cover you. I'm trying to get everybody to know who you are. I get everyday people hit me up like, yo, I didn't know who Boogie was before your channel, which is horrible because I would say the vast majority of the people on my channel who are shady fans and the fact that they don't know Boogie, that's what broke my heart. Let me open this up by saying shout out to everybody who's streaming <coughs> Dream Chasers. Um, keep streaming that. It's looking like we about to be breaking some records with that project, I mean with that song, man. And I got a major announcement to make about that song. I don't know when I can make it, but I'm gonna make it. Um, if you, if you tuned into my channel yesterday, you know that Joel Santana hit me up uh, just on some Chop It Up shit, man. Shout out to Joel's Human Crack in the Flesh, the Santana bandana. Um, yeah, keep streaming. <coughs> Dream Chaser, comment on it, like it. All of that stuff on all major streaming platforms, baby. Let's get right into this thing. So I've been saying... I've been saying Boogie is the red-headed stepchild of Shady Records. I've been saying I feel as if Shady Records doesn't rock with Boogie at all. At all. I've been saying things that it, it, it seems like maybe Shady doesn't know what they have when talking about Boogie. It also made me realize how bad Eminem is at pushing artists. Eminem will tell you that. Eminem will tell you that. Not everybody is Dr. Dre. <laughs> if Eminem had Eminem to be the person that Dre was in his career, we probably wouldn't have him. We probably wouldn't have him right now. Um, not Ed, but I think another thing that goes without that a lot of people don't say is being able to spot talent, make talent, create talent, and have them become legends is really a gift it's a gift dr dre has a gift he is he is he is bestowed a power that mm, if 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 a, if if more people were bestowed the power dr dre would have there would be no such thing as, a, as an act that flops dr dre has not only made like successful artists he's literally made the biggest sum of the biggest things to ever touch the culture of hip hop. He's had a hand in. Tupac, NWA, Eminem, Snoop, 50. That's absolutely insane that one person had to do with all of them people, right? Okay. Now, I get mad at M when I think of the way Boogie is treated because I see way more push of Joyner Lucas than I see of Boogie. Now, I was saying, well, that's what made me mad because I was just thinking before, okay, well, man, maybe M just doesn't have the talent of putting people on or of spotting talent or of curating talent, right? Maybe he just doesn't have it. But then I see what's going on with Joyner. I'm like, well, wait a minute. If you just did what you're doing for Joyner for Boogie, that would work. And I, I get comments sometimes, not a lot. Somebody hit me up and was like, well, it's not M's fault, blah, 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 this, that, and the third. Listen. It's exactly M's fault. It's exactly M's fault. It, it, you don't think I know that record labels are have a bunch of people in them? It's not just the artist who makes it. Listen, this is why <laughs> you got to also understand that Shady Records is not Aftermath. I think that's where you're getting confused, right? It's not Interscope. Shady Records is Eminem's label. So though he has employees in that label, what happens of that label he will be responsible for it's called shady records see how that works okay cool <clears throat> now here's another reason why it is eminem's fault if m if the label doesn't know what to do with boogie that's one thing but eminem 
in 2019 does not really need a label to make somebody big does not need any maneuvers or strategies to make anybody you know all he did for joiner was give him a feature and do a video right there was no uh, crazy statistical rollout with the no nobody expected that he just did a song with joiner and that's it got him to his grammy walked him to a grammy nomination so yeah he has that power so yesterday boogie tweeted out his bank statement and uh he had one dollar in there now <laughs> do i truly believe boogie is that broke do i truly believe boogie is that broke no but i think boogie is a kind of a calculated person more calculated than people give him credit for just like that tweet he deleted i think he's trying to let people know he's doing a lot of this by himself i think he's trying to let people know he isn't doing as well with shady as people thought he would i think he wants people to know exactly where he is on the level of shady or or what his funds are or what he has to help i'll put it this way any artist who is signed to a label and puts out a bank statement where they're in have one dollar to their name that is a shot at the label shot at the label so Boogie also, and, and, and that's what I'm saying. Let me go back to that. The shot at the label, I do not think Boogie is happy with Shady. I do. If I had to guess, I don't have any backup information. I don't have any, like, you know, information that nobody else has. But I guess I do more research about this than maybe some casual people. But I don't think Boogie's happy with Shady. I don't think he's happy with Shady. And I think he's letting the world know subliminally he's not. Hot New Hip Hop dropped an article today. Because Boogie announced the release date of his album. And I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. I'm going to do a review, Boogie. Don't ever twist. Don't ever get a twist. I'm going to do a review for that. You know what I mean? I'm going to be um, talking about it. We're going to be getting ready for it. I'll probably do a live stream of it. I'm trying to get all the, all the uh, uh, attention it can get. Because what kind of killed me is the fact that Boogie is a, announced his album release date. And maybe I'm wrong, but did M retweet it? Did M tweet it? These are the things that makes it Eminem's fault. <laughs> These are the things where it's like, yeah, there could be some intern at Shady Records. There could be some some dude whose job it is to, th to think of what they do like on Fridays or something like that can tweet. But the second Eminem retweets or tweets, this is when it comes out. That completely changes the game. That means now the, the, the hip hop game knows when it comes out. It, you can't, the reason why it's M's fault is because M could have the power Dre has, but I don't think he understands that. And it's not his fault just because maybe he doesn't want that power, but at the same time, you're responsible for the people you signed with. And I'm not gonna just assume it's cause Boogie is lazy. I'm, I'm tired of that narrative too. Why is it that y'all just assume Boogie is lazy? Well, it must be because Boogie's lazy because Eminem don't got a track list or a track record of artists that he did not have. Like, why is it that you see, you can go to the Re-Up album. You can look at all the people on the Re-Up album. You can look at Cash's, West Side Gun. I don't know if he's even on that. Thing. Look at all of this shit. Google shady artists. That is more evidence that this is his M.O. than it is Boogie being lazy. Like, why is that where your mind goes right away? But anyway, let's read this article written by Aaron A. Yo, Robert Blair, we beefing, by the way. You one of them, uh, you're the one who wrote the MGK article. I couldn't even finish reading it. It made me so mad. Boogie's new album is coming at the end of the month. Boogie's been a favorite in the underground for a few years at this point, but the major label machine behind him and some major cosigns from Eminem and Rihanna with some. He's about to make a massive impact this year. I hope so. Fans have been waiting for his debut album for a minute, and this is his debut album. This is his Good Kid Mad City. This is his Reasonable Doubt. This is his, um, was it Marshall Mathers LP? Or was it the Slim Shady EP first? I think it was, the EP was first. Whatever. But this is his first album. 
For a minute, it looked like they finally been receiving it. Boogie took a social media to clever reveal the release date of his debut album. There's a, there's a picture right here of him smoking, chilling. I fuck with Boogie, dog. <laughs> uh, what singer did I, this is what uh, Boogie said on his Instagram post. What singer did I junk text and get no reply from? First person to guess. <laughs> Guess right, unless you see the video. <laughs> dog! Dog, this is why Boogie need to be the... Oh, my God. This is why Boogie need to just be... He's a new kind of artist, man. He's the 2019 lyricist, man. TDE, man, pick this dude up. Something Maybach music. Pick him up. If Shady don't want to click the button, you know what I mean? Shit, start funk volume back up. Sign him, I don't care. Goddamn, strange. <laughs> After signing Shady Records in 2017, he's been signed for two years, no debut album. <laughs> and, 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 and one maybe Eminem feature. Boogie is gearing up to release his debut album, though, the label at the, through the label at the end of the month. The rapper took to both Instagram and Twitter to share the release date of everything Oh, for sale with a photo of his bank account balance. Just check my account. Niggas is broke. Shit gotta change. My debut. Ah, I feel stupid now. So take back all that shit I said in the beginning. That was a bar. That release date, that was a bar. That, he got me. Because he posted up his account balance. That was actually the release date. Ah, see, that's why you know. Okay, I feel you. He wrote, looks like uh, we already have a few projects to look forward to this month. Everything for sale will be Boogie's first project since 2017's Thirst Trap 2. It's coming out on the 25th, the 25th of this month. Previous balance, 29. Ah, that nigga fucking L. That shit a bar. I'm sorry. That shit a bar, dog. That's a bar, my nigga. I like that. I like that, son. That shit whore. That shit whore. My bad, my bad. I actually, I, I literally clicked in the shit to go look at it. That shit hard. Anyway. While detailing surround, surrounding the projects are scarce, the good there's a good chance while we'll see Shady's label head appear somewhere on the track list, Eminem. A few days ago, Boogie revealed that M would be on everything for sale. There's also a chance Anderson Pack will appear on the project's track list, which is the same song. All right, so maybe he isn't mad at Shady Records with that last tweet. I was wrong about that. But I will say, that tweet about M, I know y'all looking at it like, I still think that's him being mad. Or not. Boogie's, obviously Boogie got a weird sense of humor. Put in the comments next, but... It's good to know on the 25th, we are getting everything for sale. Put in the comment section below if you're ready for that. Um, shout out to everybody who'll be commenting on the videos, by the way. If you didn't know, the more comments, the more thumbs up, the more the, uh, the video charts on the YouTube charts, the higher it goes up. So shout out for everybody who answers all my questions in the videos. But um, are you excited for Boogie's Project 25th? Let me know. We out here.